Okay, let's take a couple of minutes to find out what is NSTEMI and its changes on ECGs. Non-ST elevation MI is a common problem that we face in medical emergencies, in wards, in medical uh, examination questions. So let's just take two or three minutes to review it. First figure is a normal ST segment. T wave is upright. In the second figure, you see an ST that is depressed. It's gone to the downside. T wave is upright. It can be an NSTEMI non-ST elevation MI. It's an MI but the ST segment is not elevated. Uh, in the third figure you see a T wave that is downwards. An ST segment that is normal. It can also be an NSTEMI. You can have ST depressions, you can have T wave inversions in NSTEMI and uh, the last is ST segment elevation MI. Other video for that. Now another figure three and four these are how st depression and t-wave inversions can be endotemi a triad of myocardial infarction would include ischemic symptoms ecg changes and release of cardiac biomarkers how do you differentiate between an unstable angina and uh, n stemi well an n stemi will have release of cardiac biomarkers with either ischemic symptoms or ecg changes Whereas an unstable angina will have ECG changes or ischemic symptoms but will not have release of cardiac biomarkers. So release of cardiac biomarkers is very important. So these are the changes that you will see 2 and 3 and you will also have cardiac markers. Best is troponin CKMB is also there. So uh, ST segment depression, T wave inversion with cardiac markers you get an end STEMI right here. Again, uh, remember the previous uh, STEMI video, a particular segment of leads shows where it is happening. So right here we have T-wave inversions, you see in V456 AVL and lead 1. So it is a lateral wall and STEMI. It shows lateral wall ischemia. So I shall hope you're pretty clear about that. Right here you have V1, 2, 3 and V4 T-wave inversions. So it is an interior wall ischemia and STEMI if the cardiac markers are positive. In this diagram figure, you have 2, 3 ABF T wave inversions. So this is an inferior wall and STEMI if the cardiac markers are permanent. We differentiate between hypokalemia. In hypokalemia, there can be ST depressions or T wave inversions and U wave formation after T wave. So in that, you will have in all leads ST depression or T wave inversions like this figure around here. So I hope you guys know how to diagnose an NSTEMI. Uh, you have uh, ST depressions or T wave inversions along with a new release of cardiac markers. So I hope you guys learned, subscribe and share. I hope to make more videos to make your life as doctors easier as much as I can.